this is Monk with Sofa King News, the Dallas International Film Fest 2015, and I'm ending here with the actors from the movie This Isn't Funny, right? That's right. So it's a really interesting concept because it's so hard to do a movie with stand-up and make it work. Right. So what was that like I mean, going into that project? Well, first of all, do you feel like it worked? I want to know that first. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, it is really hard to make it work. I gotta say that that is Paul's. That was Paul's baby. Yeah, the uh, that, that that was the issue was like how to how to approach it. And what we did was we um, we actually shot a we did a, a live stand up evening okay. like a full like an actual like gig oh, yeah. um, okay. right in the middle of the of the sort of fourteen day shoot, and we got. We already had cast the, the main comics, Beth, Stelling, Ahmed, Barucha, Will Weldon, and Katie. Then we got a bunch more um, like to, to headline it, and we just got a real crowd in, and we shot it with three cameras and a real That's audience. Producer. Sorry. And we shot it with three cameras, and, and, and people were like, no, just get them to do their jokes and shoot it like within the film. Yeah, yeah. But what I wanted to do was get these great comics, use their material, like yeah. use, get them to do their jokes about yeah. sex, love, relationships, parents, all this stuff. And just that, I said, go for it. Do your best stuff. Yeah. More natural. Yeah, and you can tell, like you can feel, you can hear it, that it's a real crowd. And they, they kind of like, they rose to the occasion with their performances. And then the editor, Spencer Averick and I went through and just watched it. We cut the film and then we went in and was like, ah, oh, that joke goes here, that joke goes here. <laughs> And it's all that's all in black and white. So okay. it's that you know, it's not an original concept. Louis C.K. does it, Seinfeld did it a little bit. Right. But we're actually taking jokes that reflect somehow upon the narrative, that kind of elucidate some other meaning on the narrative right. and put it right in there. And so either it just adds a joke or it kind of is a break from a serious moment. It gives you a moment to laugh. Okay. And it's yeah. sort of like and it's got the thing where it's there those stand-ups, uh, it's only the stand-ups that are in the film that I mean, whose comedy is in it. Okay. So it's like, is it the camera? It's it's them, but then they're also in the film it's sort of you know the very beginning the very first shot is Katie doing some of her stand up and it bleeds from black and white into color oh that's cool so it's kind of like a transition moment there yeah. you know but then her character does some stuff in it as well but that's just part of the story right and we see her she just improvised on the night doing some on when, you know on the day of shooting yeah, yeah and so that's that's how we handled it but to answer your question the reason that it works is because <laughs> uh, our editor Spencer Averick had just come off editing Kevin Hart's special oh wow Okay. Yeah, which did had used a similar technique, yeah. and so he was really familiar with how to um, balance the narrative against the stand-up. And Paul had this vision, and Spencer had the tools, and so I think the com combined effort was the reason that that worked. She should have answered that. Oh, <laughs> you can use my answer. It's much you can shorter. Cut, you can cut me out. Right, right. Yeah, it's usually the way these things go. <laughs> well, I like the the description they gave us and the diff about how yeah, the title is "This Isn't Funny," but the film really is. Funny, and I yeah. thought that was interesting. Uh, but there does seem to be a good love story involved in this, yep. uh, and dealing with real issues, something uh, about parents. In yep. Way. Um, so it's very much a real life. Uh, um, I, what was it like to? to inspiration-wise to come at the story side of it versus the comedy um, because it really is kind of you're dealing with like death of parents in a comedy and it's like you know it's almost that duality well, it's a divorce yeah they, it's a oh, split yeah, yeah, it's divorce. a split but okay. then there's also a lot of stuff about um, anxiety uh, right. prescription medication as well so. I would say actually rather than coming at the narrative from the comedy it was sort of the comedy came out of the narrative yeah. Okay. Yeah. do you know what I mean um, yeah, yeah. The, the story was what drove us to do this and the comedy was the, was the way that um, we were able to process this because I think the there's packaging. there's so many things that happen that people go like there's no you, you can't ha find anything funny about this and it's like there are people who laugh at funerals for a reason there are, there's always something uncomfortable bubbling under the surface and we really wanted to look at that and we really wanted to talk about what it is that makes you feel like you have to hold it in and and then allow our characters and our comics to express um, you know maybe the other side of the coin which which might give people a little bit of levity and in, in something that would otherwise feel very dark and, and kind of inescapable. Yeah. And we were trying to do something authentic, you know, like really, because a lot of time, you know, in, in, in the rom-com or in like or co comedy, it, 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 realism can shift, you know what I mean? You can get away with more. We were trying to keep it grounded and have a little bit of a dry edge and and find humor in, in some very sad, Oh, and sometimes there's no humor at all. Sometimes it's just sad and about change and yeah. growth and, you know, what what we do to each other sometimes. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Thank you to both of you. Good Thank luck you on the much. film. Thanks, Have mate. a good night.
All right, this is Monk with Silver King News here at the Dallas International Film Fest 2015.